This video comes to you shortly after the Monaco Yacht Show, a yacht show in which, for the first time ever, I was invited to a few press conferences held by yacht builders who wanted me to pass their news on to you, the viewers of my channel. One such press conference was held by Benetti in the Monaco Yacht Club. Now, Benetti have a huge production facility. I mean, it is absolutely enormous. As a matter of fact, soon I should be filming a documentary video just about their production facility in Livorno. It's so interesting. Benetti, though, are kind of victims of their own success. They have so many large yachts being built and so great as the demand for a Benetti custom super yacht that the waiting list is quite considerable. So at the Monaco Yacht Show, they announced a new concept called Be Now, which will allow people to buy a new Benetti super yacht with a much shorter delivery time. B Now offers a new series of super yachts designed by the hugely successful British design company Redmond Whiteley Dixon, and that are available in 50 meter, 55 meter, 63 meters, and 68 meter versions. The one shown here is the 50 meter model. Now, each model will be pre engineered, and at least one model they will start to build on speculation confidence that a buyer will come forward and be attracted by the shorter delivery date. According to one source that I've read, they've actually already sold the first model to a repeat customer from the Middle East. Redmond Whiteley Dixon have a project manager dedicated to their relationship with Benetti. His name is Adrian Chisnell, and he was at the press conference to talk more about the Be Now initiative. He spoke particularly about the 63 meter and 68 meter yachts. The 68 meter is shown here. He said that civil and automotive architecture have been used as an inspiration for these designs. And the intention was for loose furniture to be used on the decks to give the yacht a more of a residential feeling. Both of these larger yachts are intended to include owner's apartments. And he even talked about including fireplaces in those apartments. Now, that's quite unheard of in yachts of this size or any size really. RWD had really pushed their creativity to the limits on these yachts, and it was great to hear their ideas about having fire pits that turn into coffee tables, back bars that rotate to give access to glassware and drinks. It all sounded so James Bond and so attractive for many, many yacht owners. Other design features worthy of note on this series of yachts is the effort made to create a seamless transition between the interior spaces of the yacht and the exterior. This really is becoming more and more prevalent in yacht design, and having spent some time on yachts that explore this concept, I can understand why. It's a really special feeling to walk into a sumptuous lounge area on a yacht with huge glass doors that open up completely to let in the fresh air and the sunshine, often with a teak deck continuing into the yacht itself so that you get a sense of union between the two ambience. This announcement had actually already been made at the Cannes Boat Show, but at Monaco, they went into some depths to explain how Benetti are using modern technology to speed up the build process. One of the most interesting parts of this presentation was made by Giovanni Bizzari. Now, he is the head of research and development for Azimut Benetti. I know from my own experience when I worked uh, for a yacht builder that one of the most time consuming phases in the development of a new yacht is the development of a new hull. What they do is once they've designed the hull, they build a scale model of it, and then they take that model to a place called a test tank, where they can actually put it through water in a controlled environment and see how the hull performs in the water. Based on the results of the test tank, they can then make any tweaks and little changes necessary if it is necessary. But as you can imagine, having designed the hull, built the model, taken it to Vienna or wherever that might be, putting it through the test tank, you really don't want to have to make any more tweaks and changes to then go through that whole process again. Benetti have now built so many yachts though, and they have accumulated so much data and technology has become so advanced 
that Bonetti are now able to do away completely with that test tank phase and use advanced technology to predict the way that a hull will react in the water. It is so advanced they're actually able to even see how stabiliser fins will behave in the water. And they also said they can predict the way that a hull will react in two to three years time. Now what do I mean exactly by that? Well let me give you an example. Uh, many yachts have what's called an underwater exhaust system, so the engine exhaust gases are released directly into the water underneath the hull. But what happens to those exhaust gases? Well, they can travel down the hull, hit the propellers, and they actually can cause little pits in the propellers called cavitation, resulting in vibration on the yacht even in one or two years' time. Now, the technology that Bonetti are using even take that kind of thing into account, optimizing hull design in a far quicker method. And faster yacht design means a shorter delivery time. Now, I do want to say at the end of this video that this video has not been sponsored by Bonetti. I want to be precise about that because in the future, I will do some videos that are sponsored by Bonetti and I'd rather be transparent on which ones are and which ones are not. I'm particularly enthusiastic to produce these videos for Bonetti because I think they will give an amazing insight into the super yacht industry by opening the doors on the biggest player in that industry. So make sure that you don't miss out on those forthcoming videos by subscribing to my channel.